Okay, we can start now. Hope everyone is available here. And this is how we create application. You have any questions, any doubts? Why did you log into Pega platform application to create implementation? Yes. So this is the question that has been asked. Uh, and one more question someone has posted, it seems. And uh, oh, okay, this is the same question twice posted. See, the reason for login to Pega platform while creating implementation application also, the reason. I mean, like he's asking, like, I have already created framework. Why don't you stay in framework and from there you take it forward to create implementation application? It is possible. But if you do that, you it will not ask you the last screen will not be displayed. Like providing operator ID, it will not display. Means the operator ID, what is already there for framework, will be considered as an operator ID for implementation also. What happens now after the application creation, everything is completed. Every time when you try to log into application, you will be getting into framework application only. You will not log into implementation application. You need to change the options. There are options to choose to switch between the applications. But that options and all, I don't want to explain you now. So I don't want to make it complex in understanding. So simply if you log off and go from Pega platform, it will prompt for a separate operator ID. So I'll have a separate operator ID. We can have only one operator ID for both of the applications. That's what happens when you go with implementation, but it will not log in implementation. It will always log in framework only. Okay, that will be a problem. So for that again, you need to change the options and choose which application and all. That and all you will get confused. Okay, it will be simple when you learn somewhat more information about Pega and all technically and uh, development wise. And that's the reason I have done that. Understand clear? Make sense? And now before we proceed further, let me give you just a brief idea about what are the different studios available in Pega. This question will be asked for freshers usually, not for the experienced resources. Um, just a brief information, I'll tell you just on a high level. I 19. Okay, it, I'll make it part of. Studios, okay, are what are the default studios available in? Okay. So these are the four different studios on top left. You can see beside the Pega logo dev studio admin studio admin studio dev studio app studio prediction studio. Look at here. There are four studios. Available. First one admin studio. I'll write up this order. Okay, I'm comfortable dev studio. Admin studio. App studio prediction studio okay even i can change app studio to above level this will be better and easy okay dev studio app studio admin studio and this one this studio allows you to create application comma all the functional rules with developer access with developer access okay so where we can create delete update i mean like modify update in the sense modify and execute the rules all this can be done go to app studio this is uh, this is like a uh, this is like an express Edition of Dev Studio. What is my express edition of Dev Studio? What do you think of it? What is your guess on that? I'm sorry, it's not expression, it is express. 
Express addition means? Only Pick development with low code app builder. When I say low code, see Pega already told it is no code. Then why again here low code? Within PRVC, you find a rule called activity, which doesn't need coding, but it deals with using methods. The again, this is a farm based programming model. Eliminating completely activities and creating by alternate rules. You don't know about technicals, but that is possible by App Studio, App Builder, and all. Even we can do it in Dev Studio, but it's a shortcut. Here, this studio doesn't have full capabilities of development, only high level, not full capabilities. Okay, you cannot do it. means was called as system management application. So, what do you mean by system management? From the name admin, you can easily understand what, what we can do in not specifically, just a high level. What is meant by admin? Admin admin means those who are already working in IT industry should be able to easily say that. So role will have a little more. Always your uh, response. Permissions. No, no, it's not that admin. Admin means it is a system management application. So you wanted to manage the server level. Some of the things like at the server level. So using this studio, we can manage. You don't know about specific things, but this one you might be know, knowing about cash. System level. Okay. We can manage logs at the system level. Agents, listeners, queues. So all these are server level management. Okay. Just for your information, don't much bother about technicals there. You will be accessing these tools like admin studio and dev studio. App studio is not required. I don't like it. Prediction studio. What is the meaning of prediction? Guessing about here the next step. See, let me tell you an example. Uh, you have a bank account. You own a bank account. There are multiple customers who own who have a bank account. So I wanted to provide a credit card. Okay, additionally, I want to provide as a bank. I want to provide credit card to my customer. Am I blindly going to deliver credit card, provide credit card to everyone? Then how do I do it? Based on based on the activities that are being done by the customer. What are the funds that are regularly flowing through the account? Incoming funds outgoing funds and average balance being maintained monthly and bill payments all this all this should be automatically calculated and predicting with the next level of action that is called next to best action this is like a ai okay it's a kind of artificial intelligence you don't need to search through each account and analyze by the reports and all you have to design a system system itself will collect all the information and analyze the information and criteria you have to create whoever is meeting that criteria a customer who has an average salary of 50000 rupees a month he should have a minimum spendings of 20000 rupees a month withdrawals i mean uh, like something like spendings let's say 40000 35000 okay greater than or equal to 35000 spendings Sorry, less than um, greater than or equal to 35,000 rupees spendings, and an average balance to be maintained is uh, 12,000 rupees or more. And his pay bill payment dates should not be bounced. That is also another criteria I created. So all the data will be collected. It will be analyzed to see criteria is matching or not. Criteria is matching. Automatically send an email notification to the customer, taking the next best action ahead, applying. The credit card is being auto approved so manually if you have to do that for millions of customers it is impossible so that can be done by a system automatically you have to create some predictions like this with some equations you specifically call those as something 
I'm not pretty much sure. Something like this, conditions and all. Then the next best action system will automatically choose to take it. And this is one example, will notify the customer. And the customer is okay. Say response in response if it receives an email saying that okay. So the email will be read and proceeded forward accordingly to the next team for the approval. Customer care person will be calling you and taking your request input and then he is going to provide you credit card. So this is what prediction studio is going to be useful. It is useful while working with decisioning and marketing. That is what marketing also right decisioning as well as marketing. Okay, so that is the next NBA. Next best action. Okay, so this can be done. Everyone clear. So this is just a high level for your information. How to make use of this studios purpose not make use of the purpose of these studios. Dev studio app studio admin studio and prediction studio. Okay, but no one will ask you about these purposes completely dev studio one should know about app studio you should know about admin studio you should know about but prediction studio you don't need to know about because cpdc is a separate separate framework okay listening is a separate framework listening and marketing 